six strategies to overcoming your fear of rejection. Hi guys, my name is Apollonia Ponte. I'm your dating life and attraction and relationship coach for you men, not only to master your attraction skills, to build the life and create the relationships that you want. And we're going to talk about the most common thing that so many of us feel alone in, but all of us mostly fear one way or another or have feared, and that is rejection. So let's get started. If this is your first time visiting, I welcome you to click that subscribe button and comment below and let me know so I can give you a special hello if this is your first time subscribing. Now, the first thing we need to do in regards to overcoming your fear of rejection is we gotta face the narrative of what you've given direct reje rejection. So I'm gonna ask you right now to face your narrative. How do you do so? I'm gonna ask you this question. When someone rejects you, how does this make you feel? Right there is the narrative that you've given rejection. So you believe that that narrative is true. So example, when someone rejects me, how does it make me feel? Maybe your answer was that I'm stupid or I'm not enough or that I'm not desirable or that um, I'll always be rejected, right? So let's take the last one, that I'll always be rejected, right? But is that really true? That's the narrative that you've hanged on to, and that's why you fear that, because you believe that you will always be rejected. You believe that you are not enough. You believe all of these negative narratives. So instead, you've got to really face not only a fear of rejection, but you've got to question it. Where does this come from? How have I given it meaning? right? Because the only person that has made it true is you. Because I guess what? You've never been rejected every single time in your life. There's never, there's no way, no human has. And so with that said, a lot of us have faced rejection. And that's where we can, we can understand it. I face rejection daily, probably monthly, but I don't give it a story and a meaning. So I don't see it in my life as rejection every day. There's a difference. So number two is catch your negative self-talk. A lot of times um, we are our own worst, criti worst critics in life. And the way we talk to ourselves is literally never a way we would ever talk to anybody we loved. But when we talk to ourselves, we really have to figure out how we talk to ourselves. So one of the things I want you to do is I want you to analyze what stories you're telling yourself. When you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you do? When you're rejected, what do you say to yourself? When things don't go your way, what do you say to yourself? How do you cross-examine your behaviors and how do you talk to yourself? And the things that I want you to do is really define it and, and catch yourself. Either write them down in a journal or write them down in your notes when you're going about your day. Now, we have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of thoughts a day and all, more than 50% of those thoughts are negative thoughts as humans. So we have to really take accountability for what thoughts we're creating in our mind and say it out loud and say, this is not true right? One thing that I do for myself is every time I have a negative thought, I go cancel, 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 cancel. I literally do this all day, every day. I'm dead serious. I've never even mentioned this in a video, but this something, this happens, stays in the present moment and catches the thought and I cancel it out. Next thing is expect the rejection. All right. A lot of times when we have a fear of rejection is because we are not only attached to the story, but we're expecting that um, we will, we, that we're attached to the story, but we're also expecting that this will go well, because if it does, this means that I am enough, right? Expect to re be rejected from time to time. Understand that the best people, the people that you follow, the people that you emulate, the people that you desire, I mean, the desire you, or find motivating or that you like have been rejected as well. You know, rejection, people say rejection is redirection, but also to rejection really is a part of life. And so it's about understanding that this is something that's always going to be in our life. And it's about creating a relationship around it. Sometimes I'm not even aware that I get rejected because of the fact that I don't define it as something that is a part of me. So I ask you, how do you define it as something that's a part of you? And how can you start expecting rejection so you can get better with the expectations of rejection so we can look at it differently? Next is look at the lessons in them. What did you learn? Here's the thing. When I was rejected, um, from let's just say 
something important in business, right? When I had to reject someone or I had to uh, be rejected, basically, I looked at it as what did I learn from this lesson that can take me to the next level so I don't have to have this type of rejection in my life again, right? Maybe it's, I need to be better at approaching women. I need to um, get out there and approach more women. I need to be more educated in approaching women. And if that's your thing, I want you to watch a video and it's a secret video. You can watch that next. It's going to be in the description box all about how to approach a woman and the common things that are going to give you success without rejection. I'll put it right below right here so you can watch that video next. And that's a secret video nowhere else um, that you can find it but there. Next is know your worth, right? When we know our worth, like I said, rejection doesn't really lay. It's not like a tail that's chasing us all the, all the time and we remember it. When we know our worth, we know that we're rejected by the things that are not going to serve us. And we are not rejected by the things that do serve us, right? That are better aligned for where we are in our life right now and, and today. So what a lot of times when we don't know our worth, we are looking at other people to define our eligibility or our worth for life, our worth for relationships, our worth for our career, our life worth, worth with money, our worth with our jobs, our worth with our family. And so you're always grasping for straws to really get answers from everybody else when you have the answers within yourself all the time, guys. And the next thing is turn avoidance into action, okay? What do you avoid in your life so you don't have to face rejection? Do you avoid high, hard conversations? Do you avoid talking to women? Do you avoid approaching women? Do you avoid having, setting boundaries? Do you avoid being assertive? Do you avoid asking for the raise? Do you avoid um, setting goals for yourself? And then ask yourself, what in my life do I avoid? And put those into action. Because a lot of times when we have avoidance in our life, we are not challenging ourselves in different areas of our life that rejection weighs heavily on us or more heavily on us, right? And so when we have rejection like this in our life and we don't have other things that we love or look forward or challenge us that give us that confidence, we take rejection 10 times more than someone that has that confidence in their lives to know that the rejection does not define my worth and I take action in my life and I just don't avoid everything. So if you want to get better at this and if you want to take things to the next level and really work on rejection, either you can do two things. One is you can watch that secret video all about how to approach women and um, get better with rejection. But two is become part of our membership. We have a brotherhood community. You have weekly group sessions with us. And one of the things that you will notice is you have ongoing coaching with us and so many perks in regards to this. You get free five free exclusive programs when you sign up, but also to have guidance and you'll have other like-minded men in this community that have faced similar situations as you and overcome them. And you're going to learn how to overcome this slowly and be supported in the right way. So click the link below and become a VIP member and be part of my community so I can see you every week. <laughs> All right, guys, as always, click the links right below and sign up and you can watch this next video. If this is your first time visiting, I welcome you to subscribe and hit that subscribe button and comment below so I can say hello. As always, I'll see you in the next video and remember you are always loved. Bye for now.